Hey everybody, it's Ryan again. I just wanted everybody to hear what it sounds like to have a dying hard drive or a potentially dead hard drive. In this case, this is a, a, a drive that came from a 21 inch, I think it's 21 inch, maybe a 24 inch iMac. It was about four and a half to five years old, somewhere in there. The manufacture date on here says 10 December 2007. I'm sure you can't read that from here, but at least you get the idea. There are a variety of drives that are put into the IMAX. Some are Seagate, some are Western Digital, some are Samsung. It all depends on what was cheap at the time. But that being said, any kind of brand of a hard drive can fail, and any computer that the hard drive is in can fail. So don't think that there's anything specific to this one that causes this. What I have done is I've attached it to a hard drive reader. It's a little bit easier to go this route than it is to go directly and plug it into a computer. It's easier to just plug it into one of these readers and simulate it being in a computer than actually going and plugging it in there to find that it is in fact effective. So over here I've got a little power switch that I'm going to go ahead and turn on and I want you to see if you can hear this. We'll hear the drive spin up but then we'll hear a very faint click. Since the click was perfectly rhythmic, it went click, 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 and it spun down from there. When that happens, that means that as the drive is actually spinning in here, because it is spinning, there's a head, there's a piece that comes out from about here, actually it may be over here, the piece that comes from here, that actually goes and reads the hard drive, and it moves kind of like my fingers moving, where it will go back and forth across the drive to find where it starts, read for where the information is as the disk spins. But if it spins and it can't find that orientation sensor, the thing that says this is the beginning of the track, the end of it's over here, just keep spinning until you get to it, it'll go and it'll start to click and restart the motor over and over and over to try and find that one part. But if it can't find it, it just sits there and then it eventually shuts itself down saying, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I can't operate like this, so I'm going to turn myself off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and I'm going to turn it back on again so we can hear it. So here it's turned off. And here we are turned on. You should hear it spin back up. And then... Spin. It's almost perfectly rhythmic. If you've got any kind of musical tempo, you know what rhythmic perfect tempo sounds like, and that was absolutely perfect. That's just the way that these work. When they're spinning up the speed and it won't read it, we're kind of dead. There's some things you can do with these drives. Um, I've read some things on the internet where you can change their orientation, where you could flip them over. You can stand them on their head. You can put them in the freezer, <laughs> if you're a little bit more daring. For anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour, um, sometimes when the parts cool, they fit a little bit differently together. If the drive is warm, though, and you put it in the freezer, or it goes into an environment where you're going to cool this down very quickly and it was either somewhat warm or somewhat cold, there's a chance of getting condensation inside the drive, and that's very, very bad. So if you want to do that, make sure that that's the last thing that you do with this drive, because you may not get anything else out of it. But in our case, I've tried all the orientations, I've tried turning it off, turning it on, I've tried different cables just to make sure, and this guy failed when he was inside the Mac, definitely. So I had to replace him with a similar drive, and now he's good to go. But if this happens to you and you don't have a backup, you're pretty much stuck. You can send these to a facility where they'll go and actually take this whole cover off, take out the screws that are in here all the way around, where these little black things are, they can remove the screws, get into the drive itself, and hopefully, and I do mean hopefully, get the data off here. It's very expensive, very time consuming, and usually doesn't work unless you take it to a very good facility. And even then, you're going to pay upwards of usually $1,000 to $5,000 to get the data off. So make a backup. It's easier that way. Hope this helps. Uh, a little bit of informative stuff here and there. But um, if you liked it, let me know. Post in the comments below. And if not, well, whatever. Wait for the next video. And maybe we'll find something you do like. And if there's something you'd like to see or some kind of part you've got questions about, Leave it in the comment section and I'll see if I can make a video for you. Take care.